The latest U.S. Census is out, and of course, with that comes the analysis of population trends and what that means. We're taking a look at what's going on here in the Northwest, in Oregon in particular, and to do that, we're joined by John Horvick of DHM Research. John, thanks for being here. What do you see with all this data? Well, I'm really focused on the Pacific Northwest, Oregon, and Washington especially, and what we see is quite a contrast between the two places. And we'll talk maybe talk about Idaho too, but you know, Oregon lost population overall. And I think it was 21-ish counties, something like that, uh, that lost population. And that stands in stark contrast to our neighbors to the north. Uh, Washington only had two counties that lost population over the last year. Um, Idaho, just one uh, county in Idaho lost population. There's been a lot of speculation about the reasons why Oregon seems to be losing population, particularly Multnomah County. Um, and as we think about those or talk about those, I, I think it's important to say, hey, what is distinct or different about Oregon compared to our neighboring states? Because they share a lot of the same experiences and challenges that we have here. Uh, and so some of them are the easy stories to tell uh, about, about this place. Uh, I think maybe you don't stand up as well when you think that Washington or Idaho also suffer some some difficulties. So, I mean, uh, looking at that, you know, why is that that you think that you know Washington increased versus Oregon decreasing? I mean, I know there's speculation on it, but is there, is there any data to like back up anything? Difficult to know. Um, there are some differences in Washington's economy to Oregon's economy. Washington has a lot more large employers. Uh, you think of your Amazon, your Microsofts, your Boeing's, and Oregon just doesn't have anything that competes with employers of that of that size. Um, you know, other differences is the tax system is quite a bit different. And here is when we think about how people are responding to the Oregon numbers. You know, Multnomah County in particular, where the largest decline is, has had you know, and voters have supported several large tax increases. Um, and perhaps there is some fleeing of Multnomah County fleeing of Oregon to a place that has a different tax system. Although it's you know worth noting that in Oregon, population declines happened in Clackamas County and Washington County and Marion County. So places outside of uh, Multnomah County that had those, those local tax increases have also seen year over year population declines. Um, but that could be a reason. The employment base is quite a bit different. Uh, or at least somewhat different, particularly in the Puget Sound area where they have those large employers in Oregon and the tax system's different. There are some similarities, so important to call out. I mean, certainly a lot of people have said, you know, Oregon has experienced a real homeless crisis, uh, an urban crisis is associated with it. Well, when we do polling up in Washington state, you know, the top issues, particularly in the Puget Sound area, are homelessness just like they are here. Housing costs are another reason that people have said that are driving people out of Oregon, particularly the metro area. Well, we've seen rapid housing, housing costs uh, in, in Washington, uh, as well as in Idaho. Uh, so, so, you know, I, what makes Oregon different? Uh, that's harder to pin down, um, but it is definitely something for all of us to be wrestling with. It's, Oregon needs to be a competitive state, uh, whether it's to you know, attract business, give people great work opportunities, quality of life. Uh, and if we're slipping compared to our neighbors, that's a real problem. So you mentioned you know, Multnomah County, Clackamas County, Washington, Marion County, you know, everybody having decreases there. But also you said it was like 21 counties, I think, out of Oregon. Yeah. So where some, were some of the other, you know, areas where there was some some mass migration like that? Well, the the mass is really Multnomah County. It's, it, there are there are other places that lost population, but you know the biggest numbers, no doubt, are Multnomah County. But we're, we saw population losses in both urban and rural areas of the state. So it's it's not sort of an urban versus urban versus rural. If that's the way where to put it. There there are there are places in, in rural Oregon that gained some population and lost population. You know, but again, in Washington. All but two counties gained population in Idaho, or you know, predominantly rural state. All but one gained the gained population. So there is something that's distinct that's happening in Oregon, and you know, the 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 greatest loss was in Multnomah County. But it's not only Multnomah County. So I, I don't think if you're sort of trying to understand what happened, yeah. uh, that you can put your finger just on the situations, the challenges that are in say in Portland or Multnomah County, because because there's changes. Um, happening elsewhere too. So with these declines in population, what does that actually mean for like the county government and the people living within these counties? Well, there's, you can think of lots of things, you know, one, there's tax base. And so if there are fewer residents here, you know, in a local community or in a state, there's tax dollars that are, are 
you might not flow here. The other is just, is it a sign that Oregon is less attractive for in-migration? So are people choosing to relocate to other parts of the country, perhaps the Puget Sound area in Seattle or in Clark County across the river or Boise or just some other place? So is Oregon less competitive? So are we going to have a more difficult time attracting people here, attracting business here, uh, which has all sorts of downstream effects, whether it's tax dollars or economic growth or, um, you know, you know, the number of schools we need to build. So there's lots of things there. And then another big question that I think we're just going to have to continue to do research on, are these changes primarily because of people moving away? Or is this natural decline where people are not moving here and then there's just declines because of, uh, well, people reach the natural course of their life? Um, one thing that I'll be looking at as more data come in is, are there shifts in say party registration. Are we seeing, for example, Republican conservative individuals moving to another state or another, or another part of Oregon? Are we seeing people, you know, liberal voters being more attracted to certain parts of the state? Is this a sign of sorting? Um, what we have observed in Oregon and other parts of the country over the last, well, really couple few decades is the liberal parts of the state have become more liberal, more democratic, and the conservative parts of the state more conservative, more Republican. Are we seeing that trend continue and accelerate in Oregon with these population shifts? I don't think we have enough data to know yet, but that's something that I'll be paying close attention to as we get more information. And those are the big things that, that stand out to me. Um, anything else that you want to add in that you, you've picked up after all this data? Um, I would just, I would, I would, I'd say again, Washington's not that different from Oregon. There are some differences in terms of its economic base, its tax system, but culturally it's similar to Oregon. Idaho is different than both of our places. Um, another thing that could be driving this is COVID policies, but Washington and Oregon's code of policies weren't so much different. And Idaho's were different than Oregon and Washington's. Um, so I just, I guess I would just say to repeat myself, we have to be really careful about making surface level sort of in quick judgments about what's happened um because it's easy to tell an oregon specific story but if you compare oregon to our neighbors i think that those stories get a little bit more challenging huge thank you to john for joining us and of course there's a lot of analysis that's going to be going into all of these numbers and what it means what our county is going to respond with how's the state going to respond all things that we'll be following along with right here for fox 12 oregon i'm greg nibbler